The difference between a writer and a non-writer is a writer breathes in the world and breathes it out through a pen. They notice things about the world that everyone notices, but they do what? They write it out. And so what you're going to teach your students to do is what you noticed about mathematics, you're going to do what with it? Write it. Because there's a different side of the brain that does math procedure than writes. And you're gonna do this. So you blend them together and that it is prime for English language learners and the approaching or at promise learner to be in a, in a heterogeneous group. It is very, very, very beneficial. Your English language learners will achieve eight to 10% higher on assessments if you will use small group instructions where it is mixed. It's very low risk. How many of your English language learners raise their hand to participate in class and whole group? They don't, do they? I'm not saying anything. I'm not sure if I can say it correctly. So you mix those groups. You appoint and you mix them Initially, if you've never used stations, I tell people to make the groups where you want to do it again. That's also how I appoint leaders and co-leaders. I appoint the leaders and co-leaders who will keep my class running. Not the most mathematically proficient. 